Okay, now I'm going to take you through how to do the laser eyes. Okay, I'm going to start by going to After Effects. You can type in After Effects. It should pop up right here. Adobe After Effects. Now what I'm going to do is once After Effects launches, I'm going to import the footage called Laser Eyes. And we're going to use an effect called Beam. <clears throat> So this is After Effects. Um, yours is, might look a little bit different than this, but the first thing you want to click on is New Composition. Um, you can just call it Laser Eyes at the top here. Um, the stuff that's in here for the first thing, that should be just fine. You're just going to click OK. All right, now we need to import our footage. So I'm going to go to File, Import, File, and I'm going to find on my desktop, laser eyes. So I'm going to type in laser, oh there it is, lasers.mp4. Now this will seem a little weird, but we're going to make a new composition by right clicking on it. We're going to go to new comp from selection. Okay, so um, we're just going to start with the lasers here. And uh, I've got this footage in here. And it's already set to the exact same size and correct length and everything. Um, we're going to make a new solid. So I go up to the top here where it says layer. I'm going to go new and solid. And white solid, that's just fine. And it turns the screen white. I go over to the side here. I'm going to type in beam, B E A M, and drag this plugin onto the white screen now. And now it makes this laser beam right here. So we're going to go to where we have Luke starting to shoot the laser beam out of his eyes. Okay, so there's the wind up and the laser. Okay, in the timeline here down at the bottom, I'm going to shorten this so that the laser appears only when Luke is shooting the laser. In the effect control area in the top left here, it says beam and it has starting points. So I'm going to click on the crosshairs here. It starts in his eyes, so I'll start there and ends probably somewhere off this edge right there. Now we're going to animate this laser beam and we're going to change some of the options here. Okay, so the length, that's kind of up to you. You can have a long laser or a short laser. It's really up to you. Um, but we're going to have the time start at zero here. So time is going to start at zero. I'm going to drag it all the way to the left here. Then I click in the circle thing that's to animate it. And I click in the stopwatch Okay, then I'm going to go, I'm going to zoom into the timeline here, and I'm going to go for just a few frames. So it starts at 16 frames, 18, 20. Okay, that's good. And I'm going to have the time go to 100%, like that. and 100%, okay? One of the problems I see here is that as the laser beam comes out, it kind of comes out of the center of his head there, and that's kind of a problem, okay? So I click on the white solid down in the timeline, and I push the letter U on the keyboard, and that allows me to adjust some of the options here. So here's one of the problems. It's the time is set to zero on this diamond here. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to drag this 100% diamond over here. Let's see if that helps it. Yeah, it kind of works a little bit better. I can also maybe adjust this. So maybe it... Okay, so it's more coming out of his eye right there. That looks good. So that's all that I need for there. And if I want a thin laser, then I can leave it like that. Otherwise, I can change the starting thickness and ending thickness. So it's more laser beamy, I guess. You can change the inside and outside color. If I click on the color chips here, so I can set it to maybe a white. Maybe the outside color is blue. That's awesome. Okay. And I'm going to do one more thing so that, because the laser is really bright, so I'm going to make another new solid. I'm going to go to 
layer, new, solid. I'm going to create a white solid number two. And on this white solid, okay, I'm going to drag it so it's even with the laser beam there. And on this solid, I'm going to do lens flare. So I'm going to type in L-E-N-S, lens flare. I'm going to drag that onto the white solid. And I have a problem because the lens flare is not showing up the way that I want it to. So I'm going to actually delete that layer. I'm going to make another new layer, new solid, but this time I'm going to make it black. And click OK. So it's a black solid. Now this is actually important um, because I'm going to change some other options so that the lens flare actually shows up. So now drag the lens flare onto there. There's the lens flare. I can click on this little plus sign here, drag it to where it's going to happen. On the left side, in the timeline area, I have or this mode here. You might have to click toggle switches and modes down at the very, very bottom of the timeline here. And I want it to say normal here. And I'm going to click on normal, and it's going to, going to change it to add. Okay. Change the flare center to the eye right there so that we get bam like that and I'm gonna actually animate the lens flare center so up here I go up to flare center and I click on the stopwatch next to flare center and I'm right even with where the laser beam comes out I'm gonna go forward and it's going to go off the screen with the laser like that. I'm going to zoom out on the timeline down at the bottom here. And I'm going to have both of these layers end after they go off the screen like that. Okay. Now we have another laser beam over here. like that. And so we're going to do this again. Okay. We're going to go up to top. We're going to go layer, new, solid. This one's going to be the laser. So it doesn't matter what color it is. We're going to look up beam, drag beam onto that. We're going to take this end here, drag it to Luke's eye, actually the starting position to Luke's eye. The ending position, ending point off the edge of the page. Length, I'm going to make mine 100. It's going to start at zero here. Shorten the laser level, um, laser layer to right there. I'm going to animate the time. So I click on time here. It's going to start at zero, actually. Start at zero. Click the stopwatch for time. Go forward a few frames. I'm going to have it go to 100. I'm going to increase the starting thickness and the ending thickness. Change the colors. This one's going to be blue like that. Looking awesome. Now I'm going to make another new layer. Layer, new, solid. This one has to be black. This is going to be the flare. Type in lens flare. Take lens flare, put it on the black solid. Go over to where it says mode. Click on the word normal. Go up to add. And I'm going to have the flare center animate. Make sure that layer starts at the same time as the laser layer here. I'm going to have it animate along with it. And the flare center is going to come right there. So 
I'm going to click on the laser layer, push U on the keyboard, and push U on the keyboard here. Oh, it's not even. animated. So I'm going to have laser go there and then once it's off the edge of the page, off the edge of the screen, I'm going to bring these back so it disappears. And I should have something that looks like this. Okay, pretty good. Now let's get rid of that blue screen and let's put Luke somewhere interesting in the world. I'm going to go to Google Images. I'm going to type in Tartan High School. Okay, there's a beautiful picture there. Right click, save image as. Go to the desktop. I'm going to click in, the in here, I'm going to go to a file import file and we're going to go to tartan we're going to find that new picture beautiful outside world we're going to put it underneath all the layers in the timeline here we're going to click on the lasers layer lasers.mp4 layer and we're going to find a an effect called key light l-i-g-h-t key light drag it onto the lasers layer and in here, we have the screen color. I'm going to click on the color dropper tool, click on the blue screen, and basically, instantly everything changes. I click on the tartan picture layer, and I'm going to open it up on that triangle, open up transform, and increase the scale so it fills the screen. So now I have Luke firing a laser in front of tartan, laughing and walking off. And that's how you do the lasers effect. Now you can also import sound effects into this so that when he shoots the laser, he has those laser sound effects um, that'll come through as well.